in one of my last videos, I made it known that I would go to the ends of the earth to be able to play Barbie Explorer for PlayStation 1 and Three Ninjas Kickback for Sega CD. And I showed you Barbie Explorer in action, but today you're going to get to see Three Ninjas Kickback for Sega CD in action. We're going to do a little refresher course on the Super Nintendo version of Three Ninjas Kickback, which is arguably the best video game ever made for Super Nintendo. It just simply destroys Castlevania 4, Final Fantasy 2, I mean, it, it's better than any other game you could possibly play on a Super Nintendo. There's just no doubt about that. No argument whatsoever. Nobody can win that debate. But we're going to briefly go into Three Ninjas Kickback again here. Where we have three kids that just want to murderize everybody. And we're going to see the little differentials between the Super Nintendo version and the Sega CD version. And the CD uh, format pretty much... Um, gives you the ability to have high quality wave file music and it is tremendous on Sega CD and TurboGrafx CD but obviously on Super Nintendo they are limited with what they can do with the sound chip. So we're playing the Super Nintendo version here and we're listening to the sound just to have a little bit of a comparison between this and the Sega CD version. So we established what this one sounds like. Now we're going to go into the Sega CD version. And even the worst games of all, with an added CD soundtrack, it's a huge step up. It's pretty much like, like playing Blu-ray for the very first time. You can watch a really, truly crappy movie, but you were just so amazed at the format that the HD was able to sway your way for that video. And some of them earlier Blu-ray uh, Blu releases were not very good movies. So the sound effects and music should be a hell of a lot better than the Super Nintendo version. Already better. Making its best game on Super Nintendo an even better game. They really need to do a reboot of this amazing 90s movie. That is a tremendous step up from the Super Nintendo version in terms of music and sound effects. I mean, crystal clear sound effects, the music is quite good. When you get into games like Terminator on Sega CD, the music is just phenomenal. It's top-notch soundtrack on that game. But like I said, even the very worst Sega CD games almost always have a, a very listenable soundtrack. Anyways, we're going to do two more tests before I shut this video down. Uh, somebody want me to show them how to play Super Game Boy games on a SNES Classic, and this also works on the NES Classic. You could uh, load one of the Super Game Boy oriented games, and I have Castlevania Legends and Contra Alien Wars. I'm going to load Castlevania Legends as my test game here. And it's in black and white right now. If that's what happens if you're playing a game that is unsupported by Super Game Boy emulator wise. So, pretty standard Game Boy game, black and white right now. Not the monochrome that you see on the real system. But this is technically a Super Game Boy uh, game that you could have put in the. Uh, Super Game Boy cartridge for Super Nintendo and get these nifty colors that were pre-programmed. You could use the Gambeta, I believe that's how it's pronounced, G-A-M-B-A-T-T-E core. I'm going to go to Quick Menu, Options, Game Boy Colorization, put it on Auto, go back, and I'm just going to restart. Now we're going to have color. 
all the Super Game Boy games work quite well with this core, using this option. It definitely adds a bit to the game. So now we officially have a Super Game Boy game running on the Gambatic. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce it anymore. You saw what I said. Now it would be nice if we could run this via the Super Nintendo ROM for a Super Game Boy, but this is a good workaround for now. There's quite a few of these Super Game Boy enhanced games to play around with. And unless you have an option like this enabled in Gambita, and I'm going to keep pronouncing it wrong, you're going to be getting your black and white colors. Again, I disabled it. I'm going to resume. And we have black and white again. I'm going to do one more test before I shut this video down. Uh, Somebody is wondering about running CPS3 games, and the Final Burn Alpha 2012 and Final Burn Alpha CPS3 2012 both run CPS3 games quite well. You just need to have the proper ROM set, and there's no BIOS necessary. CPS2 needs BIOS, but not CPS3. This game works exceptionally well on the Final Burn Alpha 2012 core. Welcome to the Gwenwa Sea, my friend. Wow! Are you ready? Go! So I hope you enjoyed the video, and 